So you have a text, you've got your, your lesson, you, you've chosen a text, and you've got a lesson that goes around that, <clears throat> and you want to upload that text to the archive. Okay. Um, before, let me show you a couple of things here. Uh, we've, we've shown you example lessons. This is actually, I'm not sure about the naming of this, but we call it how to participate. It could be how to submit your work. Because if you're, you're, you're really ready, you've been polishing your, the work that's now that you've uploaded, and you're ready to go, and you say, I want to participate. I want to participate in flight. You click on this link, and it will give you the submission form. This is when you're really ready to go. And you need to fill it out. And now, I'm, nobody here is ready. I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So you're going to put your name. And I'll just show you what it looks like. There's the text file. Um, OK, you're going to put in the language. It, what is the language of the text? Spanish, French, whatever the text. Remember, we're creating an archive, a database. So we're basically adding tags to everything. Who is the author, if you know that? If you don't know, you just put NA or I don't know. Copyright and license, now you know which copyright it would be. You choose the correct one. Attribution, add other <coughs> names. OK. And frontispiece, what does that mean? Um, we want to make this look kind of fancy, look nice. And if you notice here, this has been nicely laid out and everything, and she's got pictures throughout. So um, what we'd like you to do is choose, here it says, we ask that author select or create an appropriate open access image for your text. So you have a title for your lesson, and then maybe some kind of appealing image for that lesson. If it's about cell phones, you might have some kind of image of an open image or, or cell phone. So I would suggest you go to Flickr or Google Images and type in something, and then you get an image. We can use that then to, to kind of display that, OK? And then you're going to go through and tell us the genre, which genre. And we've got a lot of these up here. So what we hope to have, again, is going to the archive. You'll have a drop-down menu, and you can say, oh, I want to choose to work with films, or I want to choose social media, or I want to work with poetry. So if you have hundreds or thousands of objects there, they have to be tagged. So choose one of these genres that fits. In addition, <clears throat> teachers often look for content thematically. So we think that this covers pretty much everything, introductions and, and wants and needs in school, whatever. Find something that makes sense for your, that fits. It may not fit perfectly, but if it's close enough. OK, I would skip the, you don't need Flight collection, don't worry about that. Collection name, don't worry about that. And then hit submit. Okay, That's just for your text. Then the lesson or the activity, it's the same thing. Remember, there are two parts. You'll need to upload it here, your, your document. And again, you'll, you'll build on your draft and polish it, make sure that the grammar, that the, the accents are pointing in the right direction and so forth. And then you'll submit that. And then we ask you to tell us, what is the instructional language? So again, you might have written the, uh, in the, the, uh, the lesson in English, even though it's a Spanish lesson about Spanish. The materials developer, that would be you. you de you're developing these materials. You can give us a little abstract, because people who are using the archive will read this and think, oh yeah, OK, I, I'd like to use that. OK, and then here, um, same thing, frontispiece. We want you to choose <coughs> an image. My, my voice is given out. Um, and here are the categories of the liter literary that we've talked about. So you can choose more than one. If you're doing several of them, that's fine. What practices are you folk? Do, does your activity have reading, writing, speaking, listening, visualizing? Are they all there, or is it just really focused on one? Grammar focus, we want you to type in a grammar word there. Level, elementary, middle school, high school, college, and if college, what year? Uh, you can skip the collections, and then you hit submit. OK. 
So in a couple of weeks, we hope that you will you know, continue to work on this and then try to submit. And if you have problems, you send us an email and say, ah, I, I can't, this isn't working. So, yeah. so keep in mind, we're actually trying to develop two archives. One is resources for texts. If you find a text that is really interesting and you want to share that with people so that they can do whatever they want with that text and create other lessons, that's, that's one archive that we want of just text resources. The other is lessons. Yeah. And presumably, <laughs> if you've created a lesson from one of the texts and the resources, there's, there's going to be a cross-reference there. But otherwise, you can, you can submit text that you haven't developed lessons for. I think you now know the, the, the scale of what we're trying to do. It's really quite ambitious. We're trying to build an archive full of open lessons that will be uh, searchable with different keywords. So you can be a Spanish teacher looking for something in poetry on a particular topic. Boom. Uh, obviously, the bigger it gets, the, uh, the better, because you'll be able to search things and find things. But importantly, we're also trying to educate people about how to use material on the, on, the, on the web, which is really important for language teaching today. Textbook, I guess say that one last time, textbooks, we expect too much from them. They're generic by nature. They're full of static content. But 10%, there should be some kind of little, I don't know, a space for us to create and generate content that's very vibrant, that's current, uh, and that is localized, that meets the needs of our students. That's the kind of space that I'm talking about. You're not writing an entire textbook. That's impossible. You're too busy to do that. But you can develop a lesson. And that's what flight is all about. We really want you to, you started something. Please help us populate this, the site. And once you submit it, remember, you're going to get feedback from this because there's an editorial process. So. Uh, by the end of this, we want you to be proud of publishing something, and you can point back and say, hey, look, I did that. And other people then will be using it, and that will really be cool. Another cool thing about this that has happened with us at Coral is when people start to use your materials, they contact you because you've got your name there, and you can even put your contact information there. So we never in our wildest imagination thought that French materials that were developed at the University of Texas would be used in Switzerland or in Belgium and or in France, but they are, and that's great. They're used very differently, and that's fine. But that's people are taking them apart and redoing them, and that's that's what's going to happen. So it's really quite exciting. It's great for you as a teacher to get your name published somewhere and say, "I'm actually creating these materials." We want to do this to validate what teachers do and don't get credit for, oftentimes, uh, because as I said, you create so much stuff, but you don't you don't get noticed for that. Um, so that's one of the goals here of flight is to sh actually make visible something that is very invisible, and that is the production, the creative production of teachers. It's not just what you do in your class, but all the thinking that you do. So lesson plans are scholarly acts, and sharing them with the world is really, I think, important kind of intellectual generosity. Um, and. To that end, I'd also like you, when you submit, finally to add under your name maybe your institution. So what school do you teach at? That'd be good. Because you know, you're, I was making this point. Some of you are, are representing different schools. That's great. They'll like that. They, it comes back to them. So um, I teach at this middle school. And isn't that cool? Our middle school is up there. So I promise you, your administrators will like that. <laughs>